guys, this is going to be a lesson on super easy acoustic campfire guitar songs. My name is Mike B and this is Campfire Guitar Star. So in this lesson we're going to be looking at three super easy must know campfire songs. We're going to start off with Simple Man by Skinner, then we're going to jump into Knocking on Heaven's Door, and we're going to finish things off with Brown Eyed Girl. Now right before we jump into things here, head down to the description of this video, click that link to get the PDF up in front of you. Alright guys, well let's just tear straight into the first one here. The first one's going to be Simple Man by Skinner. All you need is three chords. Check it out. We got C, G, A minor. So let's break those down. We get C chord right here. Now there's a number of different ways uh, we can play this. Like we could also play a C add nine. Well let's try with a C chord first here. So here's your classic C chord. We got third finger, third fret, A string, second finger, second fret, D string. First finger, first fret, B string. And that's our C chord. That's the first one of the song. So remember, if this is the first time you're seeing this chord, please do this a couple times. Stretch, stick, strum. Stretch, stick, strum. Chords are all muscle memory. Just get some muscle memory on that thing before you move to the next one. So that's the C. The next chord we're going to do is G. Now, this is kind of the way that I like to play this one, a four finger G right here, but I'm gonna give you guys two options for this one, because this song can be a lot easier with a slightly different fingering. So if you're pretty familiar with this G chord and getting to this chord is no problem, I would suggest do this one. It's the uh, classic four finger G. Again, you've got uh, the diagram for this one on the PDF. Um, but because we're coming from a C chord, there's a lot of movement there, right? It's like C, gotta get all the way to G, no notes in common. Whereas if we do this move right here, C, G. That is also a G chord right there. If I just, so here's my C chord, take my first finger off, third finger and second finger just stay on the exact same frets but just go one string lower. And that's also a G chord right there. So again, you might see this one with the pinky on the third fret of a high E, but that note is not totally necessary. You can even do it with just these two right here. So. do that one or you can do four finger G whatever one feels easier to you so we got C and then we end on a minor right here here's your E minor or sorry your a minor so we've got first finger first fret B second finger second fret D third finger second fret G and those are the three chords right there. So before you do anything, just get the transitions. Just go C, G, A minor. Just do this a whole bunch of times. Just get some nice muscle memory here. Now check this out. When we start over, we go from A minor, the last chord, to C, the first chord. Look how easy this is. All you gotta move is one finger. Third finger goes onto the A string. And we're at a C chord. A minor, C. Whole chord progression one more time. Or, whichever one feels easier on that G. So let's add some strumming in the right hand. Now, some of you may know this already, but the right hand is the most open thing on the guitar, especially in campfire type music. So I'm gonna give you a bass pattern to kind of learn the song with. And then once you've got this down, I would highly recommend you just keep looping it and try to improvise on the pattern a little bit. I know that can be really challenging at first, but if you do enough repetitions on this song, that's gonna start happening organically. You won't have to force it too much. So let's just get the basic pattern and then you can kind of mix it up from there. Or if you have something that you like the sound of better than this pattern, by all means do it. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go down, 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 up, down, up each chord. So we get really slowly again, that's two downs and then down, up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up. Same thing on the G. Down, down, up, down, up. And the only difference is with the A minor is we do it twice through. So the whole thing really slow sounds like this.
little bit faster. Now we're starting to hear the song right at that speed. So again, that pattern, two downs, down, up, down, up. So that's all of Simple Man right there. We just repeat those three chords the whole time. So when you're running a song like this that doesn't have much change in the chords or the strum patterns, remember whenever you get to the chorus to just inject a little bit more volume in the right hand, just so that there's a, a, a distinct difference between the verse and the chorus. So it doesn't just sound like the same thing the whole time. So just play the verse a little bit quieter. When you get to that chorus, just hit that thing a little bit harder. It's going to make it sound different, even though you're playing the exact same thing. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions on that one in the comments. But now I'm going to move on to the next song. So this one's going to be Knocking on Heaven's Door, and here's what it sounds like right here. Sweet. So as you can see, we don't really have too many new chords here. There's one new chord, a D chord, but the rest you already know from Simple Man. So we get... G is our first chord. In this situation, I would definitely say do it like this, the four finger G, because the next chord is D, which has a note in common. As long as you finger your G like this, your third finger can stay totally rooted when you switch to your D. And this is what your D chord looks like right here. First finger, second fret, G. Third finger, third fret, B. Second finger, second fret, high E. Then we strum the D down. But if you accidentally get the A string in there as well, no big deal, still sounds great. So we've got G, keep your third finger down, grab that D, and then we're back to that A minor chord. So that's the first line of the song, it goes G, D, A minor, A minor, right? So there's two A minors on there. Now, the next line is the exact same thing, but we replace those A minors with a C. So we get G, D, C. Now, for this C right here, you could totally do a, uh, a C add nine if it feels easier. Because then we'll get like D, third finger stays down, grab the C add nine. So this is what a C add nine looks like right here. If you take your four finger G and just drop your first and second finger one down, turn that into a C add nine. So we got third and fourth on the third fret of the top two, the high E and the B. Second finger, third fret A. First finger, second fret D. We try to avoid our low E string. So you can totally do that instead of the C. By the way, C add nine and C are always interchangeable. You essentially just do whatever one feels easier to you. So with the C add nine, it would be G, So I kind of like the uh, to play the C chord personally rather than the C add nine on this one. But again, do whichever one feels easier to you. So let's get a little bit of strumming on there. So I find for each bar, if you do this right here, that on the G, nice and slow, a couple times. Down, 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 up. And again, down, 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 up. So the main thing you gotta notice with this one is that we, there's a little pause after the first down, right? It's like down, 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 up. And one thing you might, I noticed I just did there, it's just, just at first to help the timing of this one. If you do a little tap, Again, don't do this all the time, but just at first to help get the timing go down, tap. You can just tap the body of your guitar anywhere. I'm just using my middle fingers to kind of tap the pick guard. Down, tap, down, down, up. So if I loop it with the tap, check it out, just on a G chord. Down, tap, down. So 
that's a great way of just getting a bit of a handle on this thing, just by adding that tap. But whenever you're ready, take out that tap so you just get... And let's do that uh, once on the G and D, and then we do that pattern twice on the A minor and C. So check it out, we get... there is I kept my thumb kind of at like the, almost kind of the second fret of the E string that whole time. I'm not pushing down or anything. I'm just letting it lightly kind of sit over the top to mute the low E string. Because on the G chord, we want the low E coming through, but my thumb sits behind, so it's not going to affect it. But when we get to the D, now my right hand can just fearlessly drop, and I know that I'm not going to hit that E string because my thumb is already there. Same thing with the A minor. Keep that thumb up there for, and the C as well. So if your hands are big enough to handle that, I would totally uh, recommend doing that. But if that's throwing a wrench in your playing and your hands aren't big enough to do that, don't try to force that. It works really well with big hands, not so well with small hands. <laughs> so that's knocking on heaven's door. Again, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. I'm going to jump to the next one. So now I'm going to jump to the last song of the day, which is Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison. That's it right there. We just got G, C add 9, D, and E minor. That's gonna be the one new chord of the day, E minor. So the first line is the verse part of the song we get G, C add 9, G, and D. So one more time, that's G, C add 9, G, and D. And the strum pattern we got on this one is pretty cool. It's the down, down, up, up, down, up. Again, down, down, up, up, down, up. This is known as like the classic folk strum pattern. This is pretty much the most com common strum pattern you'll see on the guitar. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Two downs, two ups, and then down, up. So we do that on one time on each chord in that first line. So really slowly it would be G. The main thing you're going to have to practice here is getting it up to speed, because full speed is... So just loop that chord progression and naturally just speed up slowly as you're doing it. It's a great way to get things like this up to speed. So let's take a look at the chorus one more time. It sounds like this. actually starts on the C add 9 to D G E minor C 
at night. Yeah, I know I'm kind of ripping through this one pretty quick, but that's just because I'm assuming you have that PDF up for this song in front of you as well. So again, but let's break that down a little bit here. The hardest part of this song uh, is E minor back to C add nine at the uh, on this chorus part. So we get G, or sorry, C add nine. finger E minor right here. Now after this, this is the transition here, we go to C add 9. Getting from E minor to C add 9 is probably one of the harder ones in the song, so just do this a bunch of times, back and forth, one strum on each, just get that muscle memory in. Get that nice and quick. So again, the whole chorus one more time. tune right there. And those are the three songs I wanted to cover. Those are three must-know campfire guitar songs. Simple Man, Knocking on Heaven's Door, and Brown Eyed Girl. Definitely songs that uh, everyone can sing along with, and that's what it's all about at the campfire, right? So again, let me know if you guys had any questions in the, uh, the comments of this video. I'm here to help. I'd love to get you guys playing all of these songs. Also remember to hit that bell, subscribe to our channel. We're releasing one new guitar video every week, so stay tuned if you want to improve your guitar playing. Let me also know if you'd like to get together for some one-on-one -on -one lessons. I have students all over the world right now. We teach exclusively by webcam. We'd love to have you join our roster, so let me know if you'd like to do that. And yeah, guys, thanks again for watching. I have, hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next lesson.